Watch you guys got another video here for you. This is a requested video on how to encrypt your hard drive in Windows 10. Now, if you want to encrypt the system drive or the C drive on Windows 10, it's pretty straightforward. Now, we're running Windows 10 uh, Pro here. If you type Winver inside the search box, you'll see we're running the latest version of Windows 10 and also Windows 10 Professional. Now, the reason why I mentioned that is because that gives us access uh, to uh, run a program which is built into Windows 10 uh, for Windows 10 Pro users and above. Now the program we're talking about here is called BitLocker and it's built in here and we can use this to encrypt our drive. Now if I turn this on, it will allow me to start encrypting the drive. But you may get this message popping up here where it says this device uh, cannot use a trusted platform module and then it says your administrator must set allow a BitLocker without the compatible TPM. Now you can do this inside uh, the group policy editor and I'll show you how to fix that and resolve that issue. So go down to the search box and type in here GP edit, just like so, and open up the group policy editor. Once that's open, you should see the local group policy editor window open here. Just gonna expand this so we can see it a bit more clearly here. And then what we can do is navigate to the location where we need to make those changes. So go to the computer configuration, then administrative templates and open that section up. Go down to Windows components here and open that section up. Expand this a little bit more so we can see a bit more. And then we wanna come down here and what we're looking for here is BitLocker uh, drive encryption. Once you've got this here, you'll see there's a load of features in here which we can mess with, but we're gonna open this up and go to operating system uh, drives. On the right hand pane now, what we need to do is look for that area that it was talking about in that error code, require additional authentication at startup. So that's what we're gonna be uh, using here. You can see it listed right here, so if I highlight it here, this is the one we're gonna need to enable. Now once we enable this, we'll be able to enable that TPM uh, here. So let me go ahead and uh, click on enable and uh, you can see here down on the bottom left hand side now it's give us a bunch of things that we can do allow BitLocker without the compatible TPM requires a password or startup by putting this onto a flash drive I'll leave that there default will now be allow TPM and you can configure the startup pin and all that sort of stuff inside here uh, to your specifications that you want to use here but I'm just going to leave this as is for now for this video, um, just for this video here. But you can take a bit more time to read all of the information in that little help area there to get all the settings best for your system. So once we've got that set, click OK. And we can now see that it's now enabled. We can now close off the group policy editor. OK, so what we need to do now is go down to the search box and type control panel or control and then you can see control panel will be there. Click on this and click on BitLocker drive encryption. Turn on BitLocker on, and you can also right click on the drive, turn BitLocker on from here, and this will start the process. So before we do that, let's go ahead and click on the turn BitLocker on inside the control panel area here, and it will check your PC. Now we've already got an inserted USB flash drive. We're gonna enter a password here this is going to be a really strong password you need to use, okay? And this is so people will need to put in this password to access the computer data. Uh, and I'll show you that a little bit later. So click Next once you've got your password set. And now you choose a location where to back up your recovery key. Now, this is important because you're going to need this key to uh, undo any sort of encryption on the drive. Now, I'm going to save this key as a file. Uh, to a another partition on my computer and uh, basically put it in there. But you really can put this onto a USB flash drive as well, which means people would need that USB flash drive to get that key, which makes it even more secure. But you've got other areas where you can save this too. So click next once you've done all those. And now we can choose how much of your drive to encrypt. So I'm going to encrypt my entire drive here. And this is best for drives that are already in use. So I'm going to do that and click next. And once we've done that, we'll move on to the next stage. 
Now here we're going to create a new encryption mode best for fixed drives on this device. And you've got compatible mode for best for drives that can be moved from this device. So we're going to do that. Click continue. It'll say run bit locker system check. Click continue. It's going to ask to restart your system. And now we need to restart our system. During the restart process, it will ask you uh, for your key. So let me just uh, dismount this drive here. This is my CD-ROM drive on the virtual machine. So I'll right click and eject. Once I've done this, I can now click on close and restart. During the restart process, it will ask me for that password that I created so I can boot straight back into Windows. This is pretty normal. Uh, this is the encryption process. So you can see here, enter the password to unlock this drive. Now I'm going to put that password in. And once I put the password in, it will allow me onto the system. So if someone did steal your laptop or your computer, they're not going to be able to do anything with it because it, because it will be encrypted and they will need that key. And if you store the key on your USB flash drive, they're not going to be able to get access to it. So it will be useless to them. That's the old reason why we uh, encrypt drives for security reasons. So as long as you ain't storing a key on that machine, you should be good to go. So now we're going to boot up and let the system boot up to the desktop. And as soon as it gets to the desktop, it will automatically start encrypting uh, that drive. So if we go back down to the search box here and type control panel and open up the control panel, go back into BitLocker drive encryption, you'll see it's already starting to encrypt our C drive for us. So it's now starting to encrypt that. Once that's fully in encrypted, um, you can do pretty much uh, what you like there. You can uh, change your password. You can back up your recovery key to a USB flash drive. Let me just quickly show you how to do that. Click on this, click on save to a USB flash drive. And basically once you click on save to a USB flash drive, it will select your USB flash drive here. And then when you open up your USB flash drive, it will be stored on there. This is your recovery key in case something goes wrong. And uh, you can print your key out and stuff like that. But it's advisable not to keep that key on that drive because you don't want people to be able to find that key. That's the important part. You can remove password and you can turn off BitLocker. So once this is all done, I'll come back. So you can see now the drive is encrypted. It's got a padlock on there and the drive is completely encrypted. So if someone stole this computer or stole the laptop, they wouldn't be able to get access to the data in here because they don't have the key to unlock it as long as you're not storing it on that computer. Now, of course, if someone steals your laptop or steals your computer and it's got an encryption on it, they won't be able to do anything with it because they won't have the key to uh, decrypt the actual drive itself. You can see now it's saying the drive is encrypted and it's fully completed. And you can manage your BitLocker right here by clicking on this little link here. But when you close this off, you can get through to control panel and do the same thing. I'll quickly show you here. Let me close this off so you can see how to get to this location. Let me shut this off and close this off here. So go to your control panel here down in the search box, type control panel. And then click on control panel here, or you can click on BitLocker drive encryption here. Inside the control panel, what you're looking for is BitLocker uh, drive encryption and you can see it up there in the top left hand corner so click on this and it takes you straight back to this location so this is where you can control your BitLocker drive encryption you can either uh, suspend the protection you can also back up your recovery key from here and you can copy the startup key from here you can also turn off BitLocker if you want to completely uh, turn it off and decrypt the drive so depending on what you're trying to do here, you can do it all here. You should now see the drive it has got a big massive padlock on here, and that means it's encrypted. So when I remove that key here, they won't have access to do anything with there because obviously they haven't got the key to do anything with that drive, uh, decrypt it or anything like that. And you can keep that in a safe place. Just make sure you don't lose that key because you won't be able to uh, unlock it uh, without that key. So now let's have a look here. So turn off BitLocker here. Your drive will be decrypted. This might take a long time, but you can keep using the PC during this decryption process. 
Now you will need the key to decrypt uh, the drive. So make sure you've got that USB flash drive plugged in. If you haven't, it's not going to be able to decrypt it because it won't have the decryption key uh, to uh, access it here. So you can see trusted platform uh, module here. And let me just quickly go back into the control panel area here. And what we'll do is I'll quickly show you the decryption process here as well. So you can see how you do it. So click on this. I've got the USB flash drive plugged in with my key in there. And you can see now BitLocker is starting to decrypt the, the whole of that drive. And that's basically it. You can see that will take a bit of time to decrypt and you can continue to use your PC during that process. It will take a while depending on the size of the drive that you're running. But that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can encrypt your drive using BitLocker and how you can decrypt your drive using BitLocker as well. Again, that was a requested video from someone. I can't remember who it was. Quite a few people have requested that over the time and I've just not got around to doing it. But there you go. It's now completed and I'll put that into the playlist of Windows 10. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members in my YouTube members group. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.